one thing I love about curries is because they have lots of spices. Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. It's me, Rosalyn, your friend in the kitchen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make my homemade korma curry paste. Yeah, so korma curry is from India and Pakistan, I guess. Yeah, so one thing I love about curries is because they have lots of spices. So it has lots of spices and full of flavor. And so this korma curry is also good for a vegetarian if you want to make it vegetarian or any kind of meat. So you can use it. So I usually make paneer korma curry. So it's a vegetarian also good for those of you who are in ketogenic diet so stay tuned guys right, so let's unbox this um kitchen aid mini food processor so i bought this only for 50 dollars so it was like the regular price was 90 dollars so not bad it's almost like 60 percent off this color and I have to read the instruction the manual how to use this but I think it's very straightforward okay so yeah so this the cable is under there and I have to wash it So that's my kitchen a manifold food processor. Okay. And then I use it to mine to make the curry paste. Okay guys, for the ingredients of our korma curry paste. So we have these spices. So we have one tablespoon and a half of ground cumin seeds. And one tablespoon and a half of garam masala, two teaspoon of turmeric powder, so a bunch of coriander sprigs, okay, and also fifteen cardamom pods, a handful of cashew nuts, five. Cloves of garlic, two inches of ginger, four green chili. Okay, so we're also going to be using two tablespoons of canola oil, and also. 3 tablespoon of tomato paste. To start, we have to toast our um, cardamom pods and some of the spices. Alright guys, again, I forgot to show you when I fry the spices. So the cardamom. So put a little bit of oil in your frying pan. Put the cardamom and fry it for 
few seconds and then add in the garam masala and the cumin, ground cumin. So, so be careful when you fry them that they don't get burned. Alright, so guys, I put I put some of the spices in the chopper. You might need okay. I just put a little bit of water. Alright guys, so I'm not so sure about how to turn it off because this is the on and off button and also like the handle, you know, so you have, it says you have to press it down and up rapidly. So all the, um, some of spices already there except this desiccated or shredded coconut and the tomato paste because it's a bit tricky if I put all of them there because it's gonna be thick with this so I've just um, chopped this one first and uh, maybe later I have to add in um, water bit by bit so yeah so I'll try I'm a bit scared actually <laughs> okay so let's put in chop okay chop first okay it says press up and um, down it up rapidly. So oh, there you go, it's working. This is the 3.5 cup mini food processor. And here's a, I might add in more water, or you can. You know, I don't have to open that. I forgot. I don't have to open. Let me see. Let's, that's locked. And then let's just add in liquid here. You can add. water or oil but since i already put two tablespoons of oil there just add water okay so this is chop and so i'm gonna Add in the desiccated coconut or the shredded coconut. This is a three tablespoon of coconut. And three tablespoon of tomato paste. So you can use the puree or tomato paste sorry okay so I'm gonna add in more water to it because it's thick And I'll try to puree, puree in this.
really like the smell of this. It's really good. It's because full of spices, this one. I love spices, guys. Right, there you go, it's done. This is our karma curry paste, looks like. Right. And here yeah, we're done. And so you can um, use this for any meat uh, or cheese, you know. It's good for vegetarian too. If you want to make vegetarian karma curry, it's really good and yummy. Yeah, it's not that really spicy this one because yeah, I used for green chilies, but this one I think is good for good for five to six um, cooking. So every time I cook korma curry, I use one to two tablespoon of korma paste. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this in small containers and uh, freeze them and use them. You know, I can freeze them for until six months. Yeah. So that's my karma paste curry, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment down below. I love to read your comments and also to share. And don't forget, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Yes. Hit the notification bell for you to get updated for more upcoming videos from me. So thank you so much. Thank you so much to all my subscribers for supporting my for supporting me watching my videos. Yeah, thank you so much. Keep safe and God bless everyone. And good night.